Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to install Yaff Array for Blender. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to use the most stable build for Yaff Array, and the most stable build includes Blender 2.49, not Blender 2.5 or later. Um, Yaff Array does work for Blender 2.5, but it's extremely difficult to use, so we're going to make things easy and install Blender 2.49. Now, if you have a 64 or 32 bit operating system, this tutorial will be helpful for both of you. If you have a 64 bit operating system, we're going to install everything under the regular program files folder. Um, when you're installing programs on a 64 bit operating system, it'll default under the x86 folder. Make sure you install everything under regular program files um, because we're installing everything 32 bit and this is a 64 bit folder, the x86. So if you're installing a 32-bit and a 64-bit folder, then it's not going to work right. So make sure you install under Program Files Regular. I'll go through that in detail um, when installing Yafferay. So after you have Blender 2.49 downloaded and installed with this link right here, um, in the future, if this, uh, if this becomes outdated, you can just type in Blender 2.49 into Google and um, find Blender 2.49 Windows 32-bit version. All right, after you have that downloaded and installed, navigate to yafferay.org download and then click on the link to download it. Um, navigate to your downloads folder, open up the installer and you should have the installer start up. Now when the installer, installer starts up, just simply go through everything as if you were installing anything. But when it gets to this point right here, again, delete the x86 part so you, don't, so you install it in the regular 32-bit folder. And then just push next to install. Now sometimes you'll have an error message come up between this screen and the last one. It'll say that it can't find the Blender Scripts folder. If that's the case, you have to tell it where the Blender Scripts folder is. Uh, do, to do that, navigate to your, your Blender folder under C, Program Files, Blender Foundation, Blender, and then dot Blender Scripts. And you take that entire code. I'll provide this in the video description at the bottom um, for the default um, installation of Blender. You just copy it and paste it into that last screen. Now even sometimes it says it can't find the scripts folder even you t even though you told it exactly where it's at. If that's the case, just delete the slash scripts right off the end of it and push OK and it should work. Now if you have to delete the slash scripts off the end of it, navigate to that folder, um, the C program files, Blender Foundation, Blender, dot Blender, and there should be a file right here. It'll actually be this file right here. This file will, will be installed under re under this location here. Um, if that's the case, just simply move that into the scripts folder and everything will work just fine. Now, after you have Blender and Yaff Array installed, open up Blender and look under the, um, the console here. And it'll, it'll say compiled with um, Python version 2.6 point something. Now, I've seen many different versions and um, right now mine's asking for 2.6.2. So, what you have to do is download Python version 2.6.2 or 2.6 point whatever your um, your blender is requiring um, so navigate to the python.org website and then in the search box type in whatever version of python you need now I need 2.6.2 just type that in it'll take you back to Google click on the very first link and then download the Windows x86 MS I installer. Make sure you don't download the Windows x86 64 installer because that's 64 bit. The reason we're using installer because it's the easiest and quickest to use versus the zipped folders because zipped folders you have to extract everything the installer does it for you. So download the installer version and install that again under the regular 32 bit program files folder not the 64 bit folder. Now after you have all those downloaded and installed run Blender click on render and you should see Yaff Array export right here. If you don't have this then again watch the video tutorial again and um, or ask me a, or leave me a message asking me questions and I'll try to walk you through it and click on this if no error messages come up then everything worked out just fine um, then check the console just to make sure everything should you know registered everything everything's open everything's great my Yaff Array is working fine um, Again, I use Blender 2.49, Yafferay 0.1.1, and Python 2.6.2. Um, I'll provide all more information in the, the video description for you guys. Um, everything will be repeated down there. So if you have any questions, just read down there versus cycling through this, uh, this video over and over and over again. I tell you the most stable build um, to use Blender, um, the easiest way to use it. I'm sorry, Yafferay, the easiest way to, uh, to use it. Um, 
and that should be the conclusion of this tutorial. Um, if you're still having problems, one major problem I had, okay, if you're done with Yaffera, if Yaffera is working on your, your system, go ahead and stop watching the tutorial now. Nothing else will help you out. Now, one major problem I had when installing Blender, I'm sorry, Yaffera the first time, is I had um, a registry key error. When I tried opening Blender, I had something, I had saying, um, um, something about a registry key in the, the console. Now, if you have anything saying registry key in the, um, the console, then continue on watching this video tutorial because I'm going to show you how to get through that now. Now, what I had to do is go to run, push start, run, and type in reg edit in the run box. R-E-G-E-D-I-T and push OK. Um, now, what you're looking for is the Yafre team folder. Now, if you have a 64-bit operating system, it would be located under HK local machine, software subfolder, WoW 6432 node. Now, I was hearing about some people online where their Yafre team folder was located in the software folder, not in the WoW 6432 node subfolder. Now, just look for your um, for your Yafre team folder. If you can't find it, go to there's a way to search files on find right here. Go to edit find and then just type in what you're looking for. And then just type in what you're looking for. So you don't mind that. I'm gonna cancel that. And then go to the Yafre sub team folder. If you can't find your Yafre team folder, that could be the problem. Right click on this box over here and push new key. And then type in Yafre team. Make sure you're not doing it under any subfolders though. Like I just did. So you want to do it back here in this folder, in the WoW 6432, like where mine's at. And when that's done, open up that folder you just made, right click, new string value, and then type in uh, install dir, and then push enter. Now, mine's going to reject it since mine's already there and working okay. So I'm going to delete that. When you have installed DIR, double click on it and type in your um, your installation path for Yaffere. Again, it should be default C, program files, Yaffere. Um, if you install that at the default location. And then just push OK, and now your registry key is working for Blender. Now, if you're still having problems like I was having the first time, um, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Bear with me if you're still having registry key problems. If you're not having registry key problems at all anymore, go ahead and stop the video now. Um, if you're still having problems, Remember that file I was playing with earlier? We're going to navigate back to that. Um, so we're going to go to C Program Files, Blender Foundation, Blender, dot Blender, slash scripts. And we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and look for Yaffere underscore UI dot PY. Right click it and edit it with IDLE. This will open, if you have Python installed, this will open the script in the uh, Python IDLE and then go to edit, go to line and type 42 um, for all you Galaxy fans. Um, Alright, and when you're on uh, line 42 you can see that's looking for registry key, winreg open key, um, and here you'll see the directory path that it's searching for. If you remember that registry key thing we were with before, this is the file path that it's looking for. Um, HK local machine that's already um, included with this line right here so you don't need to include that in the um, the file path directory here so you want to do software um, if yours is under while 6432 you may need to include that I don't need to do it for some reason I honestly don't know why um, so if yours is under software Yafre team Yafre then you want to type that in right there but if you're still having problems even if this is all correct and it lines up go ahead and type in that while 6432 right here and make sure you push two slashes, because two slashes only indicates one slash in Python, because one slash indicates divide. Um, so two slashes, and then I'm going to delete it because I don't need it. And then just push file, save, and that'll take care of the file path directory for the, um, the, uh, the registry key. Um, so if you're still having problems at this point with the registry keys, then I honestly don't know what else to do. Um, you shouldn't have any more problems with registry keys if you follow the tutorial correctly. Now, if your Yaff Array still isn't working correctly, there's a million different problems that people can have with Yaff Array. I've had just about every single problem there is, but I can't go over every single one in the uh, this short tutorial. 
So if you're still having problems, give me, drop me a message and I'll do what I can to help you out. But if you follow my directions at the beginning of the tutorial and use the build that I told you to, then you shouldn't have any any additional problems. Um, so that's all. If you're still having problems, again, give me a message. Thanks for joining me.